Welcome to UpRev training part three. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at our fuel programming within a ROM file. We're gonna have a lot to learn, so let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our fuel parameters within our ROM file. So when we're doing our tuning, we're gonna find we have a whole bunch of tables related to our fuel tuning. We're gonna have a mass airflow sensor curve, we're gonna have a target air fuel table, we're gonna have a fuel compensation table, we're also gonna have our injector data and a thing called a K fuel multiplier. That's gonna act as a background scaler to both our mass airflow curve as well as our injector data. So we're gonna be figuring out how to program all this and how the tables work together so we're able to dial in our fuel correctly when we work with our upright flash software. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at editing our fuel-related parameters in our ROM file. So in the previous video, we went in here to get tuned in stock files, and we downloaded the ROM that was associated when we came up here on our live data when we connected to the ECU. So we downloaded those, we put them into a folder. Now we're ready to open up the stock equivalent file to make our editing changes too. We can see here under Edit Tune File, we'll click on this. We're gonna grab this file here, this 3WN0A, that's that file that we're able to edit. That's going to be what we want to select. Now this back to stock file is only going to be used to return your ECU back to stock. So we'll leave that file alone. Click open here. And now we're going to be go getting into our directory. Where we can make our editing changes to the parameters within our ROM file. Now we're only interested in taking a look at working with our fuel related parameters in this video. So up top here, this folder related fuel, we're going to be clicking on this and taking a look at all the different things in this folder that we need to know. Now starting off the top here, we're going to be doing a general run through of these tables. I'm going to be going into a little bit more specific details and data in order to work with maybe changing your injector size or changing your intake and what you're going to be doing to go about tuning. Now up top here under the cranking folder, we can see cranking, enrichment, initial value, and also an injector priming pulse. Now the injector priming pulse tables here, if we click on these, this is going to be what's sourced when we're cranking our engine off and it's going to be based on